the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and the same reach. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. This is the first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 158 pounds. Fighting out of Bangkok, Thailand, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is not a taking on a true five-tool pro. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep this motor off of him. Just misses with the left hook. Moving to his left now. Boy, he needed the head. And they separate. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Well, it's been a kick-heavy approach so far, but it has worked out for him, DC. Another nice combination, largely, of kicks. Kick, 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 <laughs> kick. Until you stop it, he's going to continue to blast those shins into every part of your body. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. A big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Leg kick. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. That can't feel good. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at him working. He's trying to shut the liver down. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Right hand punches the clinch. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Just over three minutes to go. Still nice body kick lands. Punch over the top. Pretty good right hand. And both guys really throwing with authority. Slips that left hand. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. And he landed the right hand there. <laughs> oh, collar tie. Beautiful strike. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. And they set it. the 
distance, gets the single collar tie. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. All right, single collar tie now. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Joy gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Right hand on point. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Big power shot there. Lands another punch to the head. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Round two is next. Stop, stop, stop. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. So you have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Single collar tie now. Boy, tie plump. Throws the right hand there. Slips. Oh, nice combination of strikes there in terms of the accuracy. I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's exactly. It's like the guy is hitting pads. It's like he's hitting focus bits, but instead, he's dancing all over his opponent's face. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strike. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have time where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Out of range with that one. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Unable to connect there. Oh, nice. Oh, 
Oh, that's a nice strike. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Another single collar tie there. Choi's cut is getting worse. The cut man chomping at the bit to get in there. He'll have to wait for the break between rounds if we get there. Oh, that's a good right hand. Got the single collar tie. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. Can you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us? He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strike, the longer he can prolong his career. Oh, single collar tie here. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Great punch. Watch these to the body. The Korean Superboy gets caught by that elbow. It doesn't look like there's a cut, but he'd be wise to get those hands up. How good is that right hand? Oh, and there's a kick to the body, not having that one blocked by Chor. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, straight to the body by the Korean Superboy. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. It's the elbow there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Nice punch lands over the top. Punch coming, it's blocked. What a body kick. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, the round is over. Gut check time for him now. You see the cut on his cheek has gotten really, really bad. And even though it's not affecting his vision, if it gets any worse, the doctor will be called in. And I can assure you, he's going to have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the screen. This is what happens when you get two very skilled, very evenly match fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next round. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Body kick is blocked. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Left hand punch with the clinch. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Just misses there with the left. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head. Oh, late the defense clip. on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. Overhand attempt now. It's blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, collar tie. Pretty good job by him there to raise the guard and block the strike. And keeping those hands up to protect that cut in and around the eye. He has to keep his hands up. This is not by choice. This is mandatory. It is mandatory that he covers his face. It is mandatory that the body damage is not as important as protecting the eye. Because the more the eye gets cut up, the more of a chance the commission will come in and say enough is enough. We have to stop this fight.
he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking time. He got it done with the strike. He fought well behind the jab, but it was a significant strike that really did make an impact on the judges' mind. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. That's a big strike right there. Punch is blocked. Nice head kick. Already closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Lands the right hand. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew he has to find the right time to step at the right time. Five single collar tie now. Oh, eats a knee. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Nice big body kick lane. Nice punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, spinning back fist lands. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Missed with that attempt. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Nice strike. Single collar tie now. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Good jab. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights. A lot of these figure to be rooted in those vicious elbow strikes. I mean, vicious elbows. And those are the strikes that will cut you. Those are the strikes that will open you up. When you get close to him, he just starts throwing him over and over and over, and he finds the target so well with those elbows. You see it damaging his opponent over that round. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Big punch lands through the middle. Real sneak body kick. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Back and forth we go here. Oh, a little single collar tie there. He's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Joy gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Got the single collar tie. Looks like he's trying to set up a takedown here. There's the attempt. Well, no surprise as he connects once again, and that looked like a win right on that. Right on the cut. It targeted it, right? He looked at you can see him almost 
putting a laser beam on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much. He's just keep making his split, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. Joy gets caught with that punch. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh, a beautiful straight right hand. Oh, single collar tie here. Right on the button. Another one. Yep. Oh, and the left hand. And again, he lands another punch, DC. He certainly got the hands going tonight. He is a phenomenal boxer. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Beautiful punch. Big left hook coming, it's locked. Joy gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Doubled up on the jab there. Nicely done by the Korean Super Bowl. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Now a takedown attempt. It is not there, and not a come behind it. Can't take many of those, you better check. Oh, here comes the kick, that one blocked by Choi. Looking to land the right just out of range. Ooh, what a punch. Right under the elbow, the body keeps landing. on the uppercut there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, huge block! Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. He's so committed to body punching. Ooh, what a punch. Under a minute to go. He missed with that jab attempt there. Beautiful kick. Well, a case of pick your poison here. If you drop the elbow defensively to lessen the body damage, you open yourself up upstairs. He is in some serious trouble now. Good stick. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. And they separate. 15 seconds. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. That'll quiet the storm, shot blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. He blocks the punch. Next with a right. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. This is no fight. 
Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Choi. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Take a deep breath. Oh, collar tie. Big punch land. Ooh. Big leg kick land. Well, I can't think of a worse place in the world to be when you are tired than the world famous Octagon. We got two fighters who are nearly gassed out here, champ. Both of them are exhausted, and they are questioning what they did wrong in the preparation for this fight. Or did they get in the octagon and just go crazy? You gotta manage the cardio if you're gonna be able to fight a long fight. Just misses with the right. Oh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you one knee to the body. Every time he's trying to get close, he just drives that knee to the great time. Troy gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, he continues to attack that bloody cheek. His face is a mess. Under three minutes now to go round five. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find the face. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. There's no give on that leg kick. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Head off the center line, slips the puck. Gets the single collar tie. That one's is nice strike. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Boy, tie plump. Nice knee to the body there. 90 seconds remain in the fight. All right, take your time, take your time. All right, single collar sign out. Way to control the posture of your opponent. Rotate him and then throw that big elbow around the guard. Good punch land. Under a minute now to go in the fight. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Joy's punch to the body there, doesn't get there. Nice job by the defense to block the shot. 20 seconds now remain in the round. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Final 10 seconds of the fight. All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, but it went a whole lot better for one of them than the other. Talk us through the replays, champ. Some decisions are different than others, and his striking really did separate him from the competition. He fought so well in the stand-up game that he should get a very easy decision. Decision is in, it resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision.
All three judges for the contest, 50-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, 